In this session, we will tie together some of the sharing concepts that we've discussed in previous sessions. We will go over one example where we use the sharing concept to separate analysis based on a user's role within the health system. We will use the following roles to demonstrate this concept. We will start by logging in as a system administrator. This particular user should be able to see all of the different outputs from all of the different health programs when they log in. Next, we will log in as a national MCH team member. This individual is responsible for managing the MCH program at the national level. We will then log in as a district MCH team member. This individual is responsible for managing the implementation of the MCH program at the district level and should only see data related to that particular district. Now that we've defined these roles, let's go ahead and get started with this session. We have been discussing the concept of sharing over several of the sessions. Let's go through an example where we use this concept of sharing to define what users see based on their role within the health system. To start, I'm going to log into a user who has access to all of the different outputs available within this particular system. We can see this user has access to a variety of different dashboards for multiple programs. If I go to one of the analysis applications and then check on the favorites that are available to this user, we can see that there is a long list of favorites that is 17 pages long. Let's log out of this user. I'm now going to log in as a user who's part of the National MCH team. We can see this particular user only has access to a subset of the dashboards that are available within this particular system. If I go to the Data Visualizer application and then check on the available favorites, I can see this user only has access to four pages of favorites. These are specific to this particular thematic area that this user belongs to. In this case, the National MCH team. Let's log out of this user and go down by one more level. We will now log in to a district level user within the MCH program. We can see this user only has access to two dashboards. From the dashboards, we can note that this user belongs to CAT district. If we go to Data Visualizer and open the favorites, we can see this user only has access to a subset of favorites. And these favorites, when we open them, only display data for CAT district. Through this demonstration, we've shown you that you can in fact use the concept of sharing to determine what users see when they log in to DHIS2. This is quite useful as it allows us to map a user's role within the health system with the outputs and analysis that they are seeing within the health information system. This wraps up this brief demonstration on bringing sharing concepts together. Let us know if you have questions about anything that we've shown in this tutorial.